believe me, there's a much bigger threat to the men in blue. That's him! Kill the bastard with the video camera! Folks, Rogue Nation here with you. And uh, tonight, got a video a subscriber sent me about a week or so back. He said he really loved this guy, so um, I gave it a watch, and, and I like this guy too. I think he handles this interaction well. Um, you know, I love to see these kind of interactions because one, I don't have to do anything, right? I don't have to make any calls. I don't have to redress the government because this guy handled it himself, and uh, it's pretty nice to see. Didn't get a lot of views on his original video from Sailing Trump Change is the uh, name down there. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and watch this video, guys, and uh, let us know at the end, you know, what you thought of it. All right. Hi, good morning. PC Pacente with Toronto Police. So I noticed, uh, uh, just to let you know, our conversation is being recorded, okay? So your dealer plate, it's solid on. That's supposed to be a temporary thing. Dealer. You're stopping me because yeah. the dealer plate screwed on the car. That's what you're telling me? Pardon? That's you're stopping me because the dealer plate is screwed on the car? Is yeah. that why you're stopping me? Yes. I it's am. illegal to be screwed on the car. Pardon? It's illegal for the dealer plate no, screwed illegal, on the car? It's illegal not to use a dealer plate. It's illegal to use a dealer plate for more than a temporary use, okay? So how, let me ask you something, officer. You're backed up parked on private property and you're telling me Nothing else to do today, but you see the dealer plate fixed to the car. You need to stop me? I was looking for something else while I was So then what were you stopping me for then? Pardon? Is this car stolen? Is the dealer plate stolen, officer? No, but I'd so like So then why to, are you stopping me? I would like to check all the registration and make No, I need sure to know the reason you're stopping me. You're telling me what code of the law says that can't be screwed on the bumper. I'm allowed to check to make That's sure... That's what I'm asking you. Because I'm going to phone... Let, I'll phone your boss right now, bro. I am not putting up with none of this. Bro. I'm allowed to check to make sure the Checking deal... for what? There's a reason you're stopping me that you're not telling me. So I need to know what the real reason is. Because I saw you packed up there. You pulled in, you backed up onto the curb, yep. and you're waiting for me to drive out? No. Obviously. I wasn't waiting for you. 100% you were. I was not waiting for you. You know, what were you waiting for, officer? Why another, were you illegally there another, parked? There was another car parked there that I was waiting for. So I, why did you stop waiting for them? Pardon? If they were so important for you to park there, why did you stop waiting for them? What about me makes you stop waiting for them? Explain that to me. Because I saw I, you looking at me. So what about know, me? I want to know why you're driving with a dealer plate. Why Please. can't I drive with a dealer if plate? Is the car stolen? I'm not arguing about this. Don't anymore. worry, officer. I'm going to call your office right now, bro. Okay. Like, you don't know me, man. I'm going to call them right now. What's the phone number? 416-808. 222-808? No, 416-808. 808? One sec. No phone number, you don't know? 2222? Two, two, two. You're stopping me for this, eh? Okay. Do you have your driver's license and Bro, I'm not going anywhere. I'm waiting for them to answer the phone. Pardon? I'm waiting for the police to answer the phone. This is being recorded, right? Yeah. Audio too? Yeah. Audio Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. They both are. Perfect. We're not, we're not going to have to wait for your camera. Yeah, you need to provide your driver's Buddy, license. Buddy, I'm going to do all that. Permit, I'm going to call here and tell them I'm being profiled by you. Bro. You're profiling me for what? You're not being profiled. You're damn right I am. I will start you looking at me, eh? I think I didn't you see you. Tinted windows. I, I can see, see you through the front windshield. Uh -huh. Hey, I'm being uh -huh. profiled by one of your co-workers. What can I do about it? I'm being right here, stopped for no reason. The guy was parked on the curb watching me, telling me I can't have a dealer plate to fix to the car. He's obviously profiling me because he admitted he was waiting for somebody else. Then he sees my black ass come out and he wants to stop me. I need to know what the hell's going on here. That's what's happening today. Hello? Yeah. He's standing here at my door. Another one of your teammates is showing up. Sir, let me get you the communications, okay? No problem. Right, so are you tell me this car is the car stolen, officer? Why don't you run the plate? I have no idea. So yet. do your job. Run the plate. Can I have a registration with the VIN? Don't you realize it's, it's a dealer you plate? Need, you need to provide your registration, okay? My friend, I'm gonna tell you something. This? Do you own a dealership? Don't ask me any questions. What I do personally? Right? Just do your business. What I do, right? You go figure out if the car stolen. Do your job. Yeah. Hey, I'm being profiled by one of your coworkers, and I want to know what I can do about it. Here you go. Driver's license. 
stole your thing. There's a police officer there right now. He's standing by the window. He can hear you. You're on my car speaker. Now my car's being blocked okay. in by another cop, number 1452. He's about to drive into the bumper because you guys got nothing to do all day. Yeah. You see? That's what's happening today, obviously. Okay, okay. Driving so, sir, sir, I'll need you to talk to the officer. Car, uh, okay. Hey, I don't trust the officer. I watched him sit on the curb waiting for somebody okay, else. He sees my black ass here. and he's pulling out to give me a heart. Can I get a staff sergeant from 14 division? If I see a police cruiser number 1452, does that mean they're from 14 division? Yeah, usually. Yeah, I'd like to speak to the staff sergeant, please. Fourteen division, this is Officer Green. I'd like to speak to your staff sergeant, please. Who would that be? Uh, right now, it's Staff Sergeant Marshall. May I speak to Staff Sergeant Marshall, please? Uh, sure, let me see if he... Oh, he's not in his office. Um, can I ask you calling? Oh, we're not friends. I'm making a complaint. I'm being racially profiled by your coworker, and I was told by your communications division I got a call to staff sergeant of, the, of their police division. Yeah, I was just advising that he's not at his desk currently, so I was just grabbing your information so he can call you back. Perfect. Okay, and your name? Louis. L O U I S. Okay, and your phone number, Louis? Yeah, and I'll tell you the number of the car by the officer. Awesome. Hold on Thank a second. You. One one five four three. The supervisor hasn't talked to me, and the guy here in car number one four five two. He backed up to my car. Come on, yep. You're damn right, especially fourteen twenty two. I don't know why you guys trained this. How these guys get trained? He's telling me he's staking out a hit and run the car. He sees me, and I'm looking at him, and then he sees me because I have a dealer plate in the back of the car. He sees my black ass, and he figures he's going to leave the hit and run he's staking out to get me. Now, that's not racial profile, I don't know what the hell it is. And he admitted that on his cam that's on his chest. So I need a copy of that cam with the damn information. Yeah, it's being recorded here. You understand me? Okay, okay, hold, hold on, hold on a second, hold on a second. First of all, I apologize for yelling in the phone again, number one. Because you haven't done anything to me. I know. <laughs> You're just bearing the brunt of my frustration. Yes. I was parked at private property. I see the officer back up onto the curb of the private property. I'm, wa I'm waiting for my friend who lives there. And I see mm -hmm. him, he's seeing me. And then I see him all of a sudden pull out and follow me. He waits till I get onto the city street because he knows he can't stop me on private property. That also pissed me off. And then he puts his lights on and he tells me he's stopping me because the car has a dealer plate. Then I go, what were you doing on the private property parked anyways? Oh, I was here for a hit and run. So I said, you left the hit and run because you saw my black ass driving a Mercedes with a dealer plate on it. And that's more important than the hit and run you're investigating. Oh, the hit and run was from 2014. I said, even more important. If you've been looking for this person since 2014, what the hell makes my dealer plate override what you're doing? And sorry for raising my voice. That is the problem I'm having today. It has to be racial profiling. It cannot be anything else to make your coworker leave his designated hiding spot when he's investigating a hit and run from 2014. Makes zero sense that seeing my black ass in a Mercedes with a dealer plate on the back overrides his stakeout of a 2014 hit and run. That is why I'm upset. That information came from your coworker's mouth to my ears on his video cam. I hope it was on and recording because I've been recording the whole thing. So that is why I'm upset. You follow me? No other reason. Yeah. It's not a personal thing with you. Unfortunately, you're just hearing me out. I, and I totally understand that. I'm just trying to gather the information so I can present it to my supervisor so that they can speak to you with more, more information. Not they a problem. They can be fully informed prior to speaking to you. So, and and uh, this, like said, and this my... guerrilla tactic of your car number 1452 to block back up within six, less than six inches of my front bumper, his license number is CLA, sorry, CLVA292. I don't understand where this policing comes from. This guerrilla mentality, I don't get it. I can't speak to the officers. He needs today. training. I don't, know I don't know why he's blocking my car. There's nothing about me says I'm leaving anywhere. In fact. You understand? What fact, do you think? It's some damn fact, late your, night movie? In fact, all your documentation is with the officer behind you. That's what you think? I need to have this guy block my car like I'm going to do something? There's something wrong with the mentality of the policing here. Something is totally wrong with it. Totally wrong with it. None of these documents have been on. 
Why would they have the VIN on it, my friend? Because of registration. Check the VIN number. Just run it. It's easy to do. You have this machine in your car. You're going to find out it's owned by the same company. Okay, sir. Yeah. You are not going to get anywhere by berating him at, on feet. So I closed my I window. I'm sitting here quietly now. Okay. So You're not experiencing I'm get... what I'm experiencing. That's the reason. I'm sorry to let the frustration out on you because you have nothing to do with it. I understand you're frustrated, but you also don't have all the information, okay? No, no, of course we do. Excuse me, excuse me. He told mm -hmm. me exactly why he stopped. We have all he the information. He said he stopped me because I'm not allowed to have a dealer plate affixed to the back of the car. I don't know what alternate planet he comes from. You're allowed to put a dealer plate. You see, what he's talking about is the it's orange plate. plate. Listen to me, no, listen, to me. Red, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. He's talking, YouTube, he's aware. talking about the orange service plate. You're not supposed to affix to a vehicle and drive around. A white dealer plate that says dealer on it, you can affix it to the car. You can go call on Vic and govern your, and find out exactly what's going on. You can fix the white plate that says dealer on it to any car. The one that's yellow, which is a service plate, is the one you shouldn't affix to a car because it's only to move a car temporarily. So he's confused about his own job. If you don't believe me, you can call Omvik right now or Google it for yourself. When the white plate says the word dealer on it in red, you can put that on any car with the screws. That's the whole point of it. And he says that's the reason he stopped me. No, it's racial profiling is why he stopped me. Because this car ain't stolen. The plate's not stolen. He waited till I came on the city street to put the lights on. That's intentional. So don't tell us we don't have and all I the And I have a witness here in the car with me who's don't, been videotaping this. Don't tell us we don't have all the information. We have There's all the There's something systemic facts. happening in this police department and nobody holds okay, you so guys accountable. If you accountable. have all the information, what's he investigating? Exactly. Exactly. He's, he's investigating exactly. nothing. So let us go on our way. He's investigating nothing. Because he's trying okay, to make something now. now. No, 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 no. Me, no, no, no. So I'm not. I'm not day, berating okay? you. You guys oh, are boy, running away. Yelling at me because sorry, I don't have to sit listen, here and listen sorry. to it. I'm apologizing for raising my well, voice. Well, I don't care about your apology because you continue doing it. So it's a, an intentional action. So okay. if you would like my assistance, you can stop screaming at me. Pick either the officer to deal with or me on the phone. You don't get both. Okay, assist us then. That's how my friend in the car with me. He's been observing the whole thing. How can you assist us right now? Oh, I said, I said, assist us then. So then I will place you on hold, run the call, find the information, and try and get my supervisor on the phone. But he's not at his desk, and my other one is downstairs booking a body. Thank you so very much. Your we'll whole wait. story is that you believe this is racial profiling, and this is why you're upset, and with the other reasons of you, he watched you. I've been watched watching you him. Vehicle. I yes, watched I him, and then he put the lights on when you got on a, a main street. It, it, Intentionally, that's and, correct. And he also yes, gave, I, sorry, he also gave you some additional facts that are germane to this whole issue, which is the fact that your officer is confused about the nature of his job and the stop. The officer said he was illegally parked on the curb of the private property where I was because he was staking out a 2014 hit and run. So I'm saying to myself, how can he seeing my black face in this white Mercedes drive by him? override his stakeout that he supposedly on. That's why I know he's racially profiling me because this is from his own lips to my ears. I can't make this but, nonsense up. This is, okay, I'm not going to go into it again. You don't know the ins and outs of that case that he's investigating, so therefore you don't I have I can tell you he's not looking for a white however, Mercedes under, because he didn't however, tell me he was. Louis, you done? Yes. Yep, go ahead. Okay, you know what, Louis? I'll see if a supervisor is available to call you at a later time. No, no, okay? I'll hold on. Please, I'll hold yeah, on. Yeah, have a great day. Yeah, I can see how you guys operate. <laughs> I can see it. Toronto Police. Yeah, I'd like to speak to uh, the Staff Sergeant Marshall for 14 Division, please. Okay, I'll put you to the front desk there, sir, and you can ask for him if he's in. Okay, sir. Shaking, bro. Like, hmm? Hi, Louie. I apologize. I meant to park you, but it hung up. I will uh, be back on hold. Thank you very much. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm waiting. That's not Louie laughing. That's just me. Oh, I know it's the friend laughing in the background, giving his two cents every five seconds. I understand. Do you have contact information for the company that owns this car? Just because. I'm sorry? No, no. Sure. That's your police officer asking me to give him contact information. The company's called Elite Automotive.
Pardon? Elite okay, Automotive Group. Do you have a phone number for them? You guys got the machine, you can call them up. Okay, just because the registration isn't coming back to them. Like, I know you gave me the documents, but my MTO is showing me it belongs to someone else. Okay, okay. this is a car dealer's car. Yeah. So now, if it's not been registered at the MTO, that's not my issue. Pardon? That, if it's not been registered at the MTO, that's not so my like, issue. So, are you test driving? Like, but you don't what? have to ask me any questions, my friend. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm driving the car. The car is not... Is this car reported stolen in your system? Pardon? Is this car reported stolen in your system? Not yes or yet. no? Not yet. Okay, so okay. find the owner that's registered to, yeah. and you say, hey, is this car stolen? And do your job. Because well, you're wasting what, your time. I thought I'd give you the opportunity to give me more information. It's, okay? Okay, you have the information of the dealer plate, agree? Yeah, yes or no? I'll call the company. Call I the thought, company. I thought you would save me some time. No, do your job. Call okay. the company. Right. You can ask for the owner. You want me to get him on the phone right now for you? Yeah, that's fine. So if I get him on the phone, how are you going to know it's him? Pardon? If I get him on the phone, how are you going to know it's him? There's Tell me that. There's questions I can ask to confirm. Oh, really? But I got your office on the phone right now. You see that? Yeah. Staff Sergeant Marshall is going to take the call. Okay. So as soon as I finish talking to him, yeah. I'm going to call you over. Okay. And I'm going to put the owner of Elite Motor on the phone. Okay. Not a problem. Okay. Not a problem, but this is, you're going to find out, this car ain't stolen, those plates are right, and you're incorrect when you think a dealer plate can't be affixed to the car. The yellow service plate is different than the white plate. Okay. Big difference. Okay. Okay, good. The car checks out. Um, I think what be, might be happening is the, the girl who owns the car is selling the car through Elite Automotive. Very well could be, I couldn't and tell And that's you. why I'm getting the own, the, it's mixed up between who owns the, it. Yeah, but it's not stolen. Because you need to, you need to provide a true copy of the ownership usually. So I'm going to give you a break on that, okay? <laughs> 100%. Uh, the, 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 pro, the, this, the disadvantage I have, yeah. I don't own Elite Automotive. Pardon? I do not own Elite Automotive. Yeah, but, so like, you understand that like the, the dealer play is supposed to be a temporary test drive thing. And like, so like my vantage point is this isn't being driven temporarily. How do you know that? Well, the dealership's in North York. I don't know. Maybe you have a night test drive. Let me give you an example. An overnight Let test drive. Let me give you an example. Yeah. When you're sitting in your cruiser, yeah. and I watch you back up on the curb. I watch you pull in. I watch you back up on the curb. Yeah. When you see me looking at you, and then you see the, the I dealer. Just, hang I on a second. You look at me. Though. I'm just looking at you. When you see the dealer plate, yeah. you can't tell me that I'm not in the test drive because you have no clue where the car is from. You could have blinked. You cannot tell me I'm not on the test drive because you have no clue by just visually seeing a dealer plate where the car is from. You don't know if I put the dealer plate on an hour ago. You don't even know where this car came from. You don't even know if I drove from North York. But, but I'm allowed to stop you Hang to on. check. But you could have stopped me when we were on private property. You waited until we turned on the street to stop me. Pardon? And I, you could have stopped me. Look, look, do you, see, do you remember? Hang on a second. Do you remember how long I paused to turn right? Do you know why I paused so long to turn right? Because it wasn't because there was traffic. There was no traffic. Because I saw you jump off the curb right behind me. I'm not an idiot. I can say, hey, why is this guy up my ass for no reason? Yeah. I mean, you could I have need, put the I lights need... on right there on private property. You waited until I came on the public property. I, need a I understand spot. how it works. I, I thought this was a better spot. This is a worse you. spot. We're on <laughs> private property on the side street. How's this a better spot? I We're blocking yeah, traffic. I could, have, I could have stopped you. You there. should have stopped me there. Okay. Okay. And okay. this guy blocking the car? Clown. That's outrageous. He's suggesting that your traffic stop is going to cause me to decide to flee. Is he losing his mind? Like, does he have a clue what he's doing? There's a reason I'm calling your division, eh? Okay. And I'm waiting for Marshall to get on the phone. Okay. I have zero tolerance for my rights being violated by anybody. Okay. I for don't... any reason. I'm not now, trying to... I didn't say you think you are. Yeah. But my experience today... Yeah. Because especially when you told me you're staking out a uh, hit and run from 2014, yeah. that's priority over seeing a dealer plate in the car. Because yeah. as you can see, all the time and energy you spent is for not. The car is not stolen, the plate's not stolen, I'm not doing anything wrong. And you're missing out on your stakeout. Pardon? You're missing out on your 2014 hit and run stakeout. Yeah, I know. I know. I thought this was going to be quick. <laughs> yeah, but you're wasting your time, brother. Pardon? Don't get sidetracked on what's important. A hit and run is more important than this traffic stuff. Mm -hmm. A whole day. Mm -hmm. Because you took the time to park on the curb to stake it out. I don't understand. That's what really set me into a rage. If you could have said, hey, I, I saw you pull out inside to follow you, you went and told me you were watching a hit and run. So how is this more important? Because you told me I was racially profiling, waiting for you. <laughs> no. I said as soon as you saw me, you pulled out. Okay. That's what I said to you. Okay. Anyways, I got to wait for this guy to get, off the, get, get back okay. to the phone. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you, you need to get the car, car back to the dealership at some point. But, uh, what? My friend, you don't even know how long I had the car. No, I don't. That's my point. But, but I was trying, I investigated because it's supposed to be a temporary use. The orange plate is the service plate. Mm -hmm. The orange plate mm -hmm. is the one that's temporary transportation. This dealer plate 
You can keep that on your car as long as you want. This, for, the, for the purpose of the dealership driving it, though. Yeah. Because if that listen was to me. Case, listen to me. Let me make a point to you. Let me make a point to you. Let me make a point to you. Okay. Every time I take the, my car to Mercedes or I took my car to Porsche, yeah. they give me a car with the dealer plate. Hey, Louis, it's a loaner car. Thanks for holding. Sorry about that. You're driving. Yeah. So you're driving with the uh, dealer plate. The dealer gave you a car. So right. you're driving it for the dealership. No. Technically, no. Right? Waiting for my other car. So they're giving me transportation to drive. But if you would have told me that, you didn't ask me. You stopped me. No, 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 no. Yeah, anyway, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Louis. Yes. Hello. Call me back. No, 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 no. We're finished. I want to talk to you, please. Okay, sir. Thank well, you. Well, by the way, bye -bye. Um, yeah. we can't go anywhere with that clown. He needs to move forward. Okay. 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 Hello. Go ahead. So, sorry about <laughs> what that. What is happening? Is everyone okay? I'm gonna say what's happening. They realize okay. that we're not doing anything illegal, which is obvious. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave me back my papers. And now he's going to tell his friend, car 1452, who backed up almost into my bumper to move his car so I can leave. Okay. But unfortunately, he's violated me as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not going to drop right, it because um, he's decided to let me go. All right, you guys, there you go. So, um, pretty, uh, pretty good interaction. I li again, like I said, I like the way he handled himself. He was very sure. He knew what the laws were, you know, regarding the tags and everything, um, which, of course, is logical, right? If a car dealership has cars that they have for loaners, then they've obviously got dealer plates affixed to those cars. It just makes logical sense. Um, but, all right, guys, so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, all right? What's this? What do you think you're doing? You think you can just come in here and film police officers training?